just got on a sleeper train from Hanoi to Sapa. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Quite cosy actually, not long enough for me obviously. But there was, it was really funny, there was two buses to get um, all the people waiting on. And um, there was like bloody Titanic, people shouting out how many people were in a group. <laughs> and like, like they were trying to get on like a lifeboat or something and I was just chilling at the back. And they were like, one person, I was like, yeah, me. And big up solo travellers. quickly done a quick change because it's pouring down the rain so I've got long trousers on I'm gonna put all my waterproofs on we're also having breakfast and then heading out My helper is helping me walk across all of this. It's very good. Buffalo on the waterfall. I've fallen like a million times. <laughs> <laughs> all the paddy fields. My little lady just made me this. How cute. Given bamboo sugar cane to eat when you bite it, suck it, and then spit it out. These are our beds for the night. Day two of the hike and it's mega foggy. Um, this was our alarm clock this morning, we wouldn't stop oinking so loud. Bloody animals. <laughs> like a dog. Fog everywhere again today. So annoying. I can't see any views but still cool. Finally everything is clearing up and we get to see a bit of a view. Therefore it's photo time. <laughs> Tristan. We're from Newcastle in Australia. Couldn't you tell? <laughs> um, so yesterday we went on a hike. Uh, we started in Sapa. We were picked up from a hotel at approximately 8.30, aka 9. Um, <laughs> there was a lady who was making a killing selling gum boots and things like that to people. Tristan was asked several times, do you want gum boots? Are you sure you don't want gum boots? Are you sure you don't want gum boots? Didn't get gum boots. Mistake. <laughs> My shoes are still wet. 24 hours later. <laughs> Trench foot. Um, so we kicked off walking downhill down the road. So that was pretty easy uh, initially. And then we hit the forest. A um, little bit muddy, not too bad. Manageable. Um, we then hit some non-manageable bits of mud. So Tristan, tell the camera about your experience. Well, while this truck goes by, I'll be ready so uh, we basically figured out the best way to get down the hill is to just slide. 
slide down the hills, no point trying to actually uh, step and stand in good places. I, with some really old joggers, had no traction whatsoever, so I was slipping over every 30 metres and it's uh, quite good. And uh, it was just very, very quite fun, actually. Would you like a demonstration of my uh, way of getting down a hill? Yes. So basically, <laughs> you get into this position and you just cling on for dear life. <laughs> and eventually you're at the bottom of the hill. Great. Dirty hands. Um, so then, what happened? Then we went to lunch. It also started raining heavier and heavier as we went along, uh, yeah. while the fog set in as well and surrounded us. We were pretty much set with no vision and we could not see everything you see today. We saw absolutely nothing besides about 20 metres ahead of us. To and, be honest, uh, I was wondering why we came here. Mm, at that point, if this really isn't that beautiful, but now it is. Uh, we were getting wetter and wetter and wetter as we went along, even with waterproof gear, it didn't help. Uh, and we were lucky enough to have a little bit of lunch yeah. and move along and finally make the homestay. There were some um, fantastic Vietnamese local ladies who they were pretty much you know, running down the hill in their gumboots and they would grab your hands uh, and try Hockey and hold you down as well, which was nice. Um, when we were in the, the homestay, so we were settling in, mm. having some coffee, uh, Happy had a, water. Having, um, <laughs> having some uh, just conversations around the fire, all, all drying our socks around the fire, mm. some a bit smellier than others. We then progressed to have a little bit of dinner, followed by Ooh. some happy water, wow. happy water from the family. Just important note, the spring rolls were delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. After many, 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 many shots of happy water, we decided to start playing a game. <laughs> the punishment was many, many more shots. <laughs> um, no, nothing else happened from that point onwards. We went straight to bed after the happy water. Yeah. Except for Tyler, she did a nudie run. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty funny run. In the rain, can't believe you did a nudie run. <laughs> Thanks, my family watched this. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bo. <laughs>